Are you ready to take the first step to embrace the unknown and step out of your comfort zone? Welcome to Step Out, Step In, the podcast that inspires you to break free from your familiar to explore the extraordinary. Hello, this is your host, David Jim. Every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, join me as we dive headfirst into thrilling stories of personal growth, daring adventures, and transformative experiences. Get ready to be motivated, inspired, and empowered to live your life to the fullest. So mark your calendar, set your alarm, and get ready to step out, step in with me every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss out on the adventure of a lifetime. Subscribe now and let's step into the unknown together. This is Step Out, Step In. The journey begins here. Step Out, Step In podcast, live on Mondays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Subscribe today. Well, 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 good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you're watching from. I want to welcome everyone tonight uh, to episode number 60. Can you believe that? Episode number 60 to my Step Out Step In podcast, where we dive into topics that resonate with all of us. <laughs> and uh, this is the podcast that challenges you to break free from the familiar to embrace the unknown. And Step Out, Step In is the podcast that helps you to navigate life and make the most of your time. And again, I'm your host, David Joe, and today we're going to explore a fundamental aspect of human experience called pain. I want you to do me a favor. If you can share the link with one person, let that one person also share with another person. Let it be that ripple effect so we can all do this together. And again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in to uh, the Step Out, Step In podcast. And thank you. Thank you so much for the thumbs up, the love, and all that, the encouragement. And uh, tonight, let's get into this together. If you have your favorite drink, just uh, grab it, find a comfortable place, and let's dive into this. And let's do this together. And again, I want to thank everyone for allowing me into your homes, uh, into uh, uh, wherever you you are watching this from. And uh, this is episode number 60. The pain is inevitable and unavoidable. You know, pain is something that we all go through. It is an experience which is universal. It, it, it doesn't really go for one person, but it, everybody experiences pain. <laughs> we all go through it. Nobody is exempt from pain. It is inevitable and it is unavoidable. Uh, painful experiences are universal. And whether physical or emotional, pain is something we all encounter at some point in our life. You know, from, we all encounter pain from loss of a loved one to physical injuries from heartbreaks to disappointment, uh, from pain, um, you know, pain manifests in various forms and um, intensities. Whether you like it or not, at some time or at some point in your life, you will experience pain. But in the midst of its challenges, can we find meaning in pain? Can we learn to navigate through it? And this is what I want us to do tonight. Let's, let's dig deeper into it. But before we get into it, number one, we want to know what pain is. We want to um, kind of define pain more than just a sensation. It is an emotional and psychological response to adversity. 
And let me say that again. Pain is more than just a sensation. It's an emotional and psychological response to adversity. And that is what pain is. You know, and when we... Pain signals that something is wrong, prompting us to take action or seek help. That is what pain does. It's a signal that something is not going right, that something is wrong. And it gives us that opportunity to seek help. You know, that is, that is pain. Um, you know, and, and pain is, is, is also a teacher, uh, providing valuable lessons that shapes our growth and resilience. It's, it's a teacher that, um, shows, you know, it's a teacher that provides valuable lessons that shapes our growth and resilience. Pain is also, um, it, it can also take many forms. It can be physical, it can be emotional, it can be psychological, or even existential. And that is what pain is. So in a way to define pain, I said earlier that pain is defined as something that is more than just a sensation. It's an emotional and psychological response to adversity. And that is what pain is. You know, pain can also, um, it, 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 it's, it's a breakup that leaves uh, somebody's heart or your heart shattered. The loss of a job can also cause you to experience pain. That shakes the sense of security. Or an illness that tests your strength. But ladies and gentlemen, no matter what, its origin, pain demands to be felt. You know, pain demands to be felt. So as we dive deep into this, let's look at the inevitability of pain. Despite our best efforts to avoid pain, you know, sometimes we want to avoid pain. Nobody wants to go through pain. Nobody wants to experience pain. But in, in, that, in that effort to avoid pain, pain is, whether we like it or not, inevitable part of our lives. You know, it's only a matter of time. Every one of us, you know, everybody experiences pain at some point in their lives. We cannot shield ourselves from pain. And we cannot shield ourselves from every hardship or disappointment. Whether we like it or not, it will come in one way. That is part of life. <laughs> you know, as we journey through life, there are certain things that you and I will experience whether we like it or not. It's part of the package. In fact, trying to do so often leads us to more suffering. Trying to avoid pain, trying to cover it up, and leads, us, leads us to more suffering. You know, as the saying goes, pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. It depends on how you handle your pain. You know, from the moment we were born, <laughs> We were destined to encounter pain. It's it's kind of woven into our fabric of uh, the, the fabric of our, our existence, and it's a reminder that you are human. It's a reminder of our human your humanity, and yet it's often resistance uh, to pain that amplifies its impact. Nobody wants to experience pain. Nobody wants to, but how you endure it and how you handle it will determine what you get out of it. You know, by accepting the presence of it, we can begin uh, to 
lessen its hold over us. So number two is the inevitability of pain, whether we like it or not. At any given time, you and I will experience pain. If it's inevitable, if it's something that you cannot avoid, you cannot hide from it, whether we like it or not, we all go through it. As we go through it, how do we navigate through pain? So let's let's look at some of the ways by which we can navigate through pain when it arises, when we go through it. Now you remember just you remember that I said when we go through it, you it, you know everything on this earth is not permanent. With the session of the word of God, everything has this expiration date. <laughs> you go through it. You don't stay in it. You go through it. Right. So it's it's of course it is not easy but it is it is possible one approach to to it is to learn the discomfort and allowing ourselves to fully experience it without judgment or resistance you know sometimes as human as we are we want to skip the process to get to the product <laughs> But as you allow yourself to go through the process fully, it, it has this way of re-energizing you, has a way of building you up, it has this way of uh, uh, um, making you resilient and strong. So by acknowledging our pain, we can begin to process healing. By acknowledging our pain, your pain, my pain, we can begin to process healing. It is the process of healing. Because anything you don't know, how do you handle it? Anything you don't accept, how do you handle it? Huh. So and, and, and another strategy is to cultivate resilience. That is the ability to bounce back from adversity stronger than before. To cultivate resilience. You know, this involves building a support network, practicing self-care, and finding meaning in our suffering. Now, everything you go through, there's a reason and there's a purpose. You know, there's this quote by Viktor uh, Frankl. Um, he was an Austrian psychiatrist, a psychologist. Um, psychotherapist and a Holocaust survivor. And in this quote, and in this quote, he said, in some ways, suffering causes, in some ways, suffering causes to be suffering at the moment it finds a meaning. So in some ways, suffering causes to be suffering at the moment it finds a meaning. There's always a meaning in everything you go through. There's always a purpose and a reason why you go through that and why, let me put it this way, as a person of faith, why God allowed you to go through it. You know. So, Pain has a way of dealing with us, but you have a way of dealing with pain and you have a way of navigating through it in order to come out strong and be resilient. Number four is finding meaning in pain. <laughs> Somebody may ask, how do you find meaning in pain? I mean, pain is pain. Of course, we're not living in a house of pain. And, and this brings us to the concept of finding meaning in pain. And while it is, uh, while it may seem, seem a little bit counterintuitive, many people discover profound insights and in personal growth through their struggles. If we can find meaning, 
to your struggles and your pain, you'll always come out victorious. You know, pain has a very, um, it has a way of stripping away the, the uh, trivialities or trivialities of life. It has a way of stripping you away from the meaning of life, revealing what truly matters. And in the midst of our darkest moments, we have the opportunity to redefine ourselves and our priorities to bounce back. We can choose to let pain and bitter us, or you can choose to let pain empower you. But tonight, as we talk about pain, I mean, it's something we all go through. And in fact, this is a two-part series. Um, God willing, next, next week, I'll be doing the second part of it. Um, where I'll share some biblical scriptures with you. It is, it is, it is not always an easy choice, but it is a choice nonetheless. Sometimes you don't have to choose it; pain will choose you. <laughs> but when it chooses you, you have the the ability, you have the power, you have the uh, um, the of uh, the attitude to either choose to let it and better you to make you better or to empower you to bounce back out of pain. And as I said, it is not always an easy choice. But it is a choice nonetheless. I'll be right. Again, thank you so much for tuning in tonight to episode 60 of uh, Step Out, Step In podcast uh, with the topic, Pain is Inevitable and Unavoidable. And before I sign off, let me do this real quick. Let me introduce my spiritual father, Dr. Frank Ofusu, up here every Tuesday on YouTube and Facebook, catching live at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the ambassador of hope uh, these are teachings that i mean you cannot skip it it's epic it's life-changing destiny shaping teachings and on his youtube page and facebook um if you haven't subscribed to his youtube page please do so don't forget to click on the notification bell so anytime he posts something you will be notified um, this is his YouTube page. Um, last week he dealt um, on the topic, no means no. You know, I, somebody like me, I didn't know how to say no until I came into contact with him during one of the ISI conferences. I'll, I'll talk about that in a short time. And since that time, you know, I used to be that time that when... It, I say no to somebody, it's like I have committed a crime. Why did I say no? Until I attended one of the ISI conferences where he taught us and taught me how to say no. And now that I can say no, I mean, in a nice way. <laughs> and it has saved me a lot from a lot of trouble and um, a, a lot of things. And please go back and listen to it and share. If, if it's worth listening, if it's worth sharing. Um, on his YouTube page, the ambassador. Um, YouTube is uh, Franco Fusu up here official, and Facebook is the ambassador of whole page. Um, so please, let's do that. Um, you know, he, he's he's left everything on there for you and I to go back, listen to it, share with one another, comments, nice comments too. <laughs> 
Okay. And uh, as I said earlier, um, this year, save the date, ISI 2024 is 20 years. It has been 20 years um, since ISI, Ion Shopping's Ion Leadership Conference started. This is not only for church folks, but it's for everyone. Um, business uh, leaders, business owners, um, entrepreneurs, everybody cuts across, even your personal life. So ISI 2024 is celebrating 20 years of excellence in leadership development. This year, I want you to save the date from July 17th to the 21st. Please, please, please. It, if you don't attend this year, just like you kicking an iron ball. Join us this year for this milestone event filled with knowledge, connections, and celebration. And let's get ready to be part of this. Get ready to be part of history in the making. ISI 2024 is our 20th anniversary. Please, please, please save the dates. Um, start making your reservations. And... Um, I mean, yes, start putting and invite your, your team, bring your, 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 your leadership, I mean, your leadership, your team, everyone, bring them along. And I bet you, they will not go back the same. <laughs> so that we can wait to see you. 2020, 2024 is 20 years of ISI. You know, I, I, I'm so fired up. I wish you could see the, the, uh, the how my eyes pop. <laughs> All right, so again, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for allowing me to come your way this time as we, we've explored today's topic. Pain is inevitable and unavoidable. Um, you know, pain is indeed inevitable and unavoidable in life. But it is also a powerful catalyst for growth, for resilience, and for self-discovery. By embracing our pain rather than running away from it, we can find strength in our vulnerability and meaning in our suffering. Again, I want to thank you for joining me tonight on this journey through the, uh, the complexities of pain. Um, you know, God willing, next next week's Monday, next week Monday, I'll be coming your way with part two of this topic, pain is inevitable and unavoidable. And as I said, I'll be sharing a few biblical scriptures with you um, as we delve into it next week. Until next Monday, same time. Remember, you are stronger than you know. You are never alone in your struggle. Remember that. And um, please don't forget to share. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And until we meet again, have a wonderful, amazing, fruitful, productive week. And I will always say I love you and there's nothing you